Hello guys, welcome to the Berry Road to Glory Career Mode Season 2, Episode 21. My name's our lad. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your support on the episode so far and helping grow my channel. Your support to it has been amazing. Long may it continue. Before we begin today's games, I'd like to go through some transfer news. Our star striker, Faris Moon Bagner, is involved in a tug of war between uh, young boys and rangers. And the fee is believed to be somewhere around 2.5 million to 3 million. So I'll wait and see which offers come in. And I'll let you guys know as soon as possible, as soon as I get some news, I will keep you updated. Now, I did forget to make a screenshot of the upcoming games in this episode. So I just screenshot, uh, printed um, a fixture list here for you guys to see. We begin with a game against Blackpool at home in EFL League One and then face a trip to Loftus Road to take on QPR. We'll finish the episode with a game against Cardiff in the Carabao Cup. That's the round one. Probably just put a few um, fringe players and experimental players out there. Now we do have some transfer news of our own. We signed Brazilian left-back Barbosa. As you can see from his statistics, he is very, very athletic and we'll have to try and use that physicality um, in his games and try and give him some game time between now and January to see how he develops but he does look promising the next guy that we signed is James Angerin we signed this guy as a replacement for Crookside who is on the wrong end of his age um, he's 29 and this guy's just as good as Crookside but he's 17 there's a massive age difference and he is a bit more physical so hopefully this guy can kick on and uh, partner McDonald in midfield the promising the most promising Signing is probably Helder Coelho Pereira from Portugal. Uh, this guy again, very physical, which is what you need in this division, and uh, really just a technical improvement. And this guy could really go all the way. The final guy we haven't signed him yet, Mies Kirsten. I decided to put him on the back burner until January, just to give Sabozlai a chance as the top striker. So we're going to start with a press conference in the opening day before Blackpool. Danzi takes the journalists' questions. Now they're asking whether we have the fight to avoid embarrassment finishing in the lower reaches of the table. I'm going to say here that the squad is capable of finishing above the low positions. Our target, as you remember, is mid-table. and I think we're capable of doing that, provided the players put in the performances that we know we're capable of. Now they're asking about Andurin's transfer and will he make an appearance today. I'll put here that um, he needs time to adjust because he's literally only just signed for us. And um, maybe in the next game or maybe later on in the month we'll get to see him as a substitute. But at the moment we don't need to rush into making any rash changes. Um, we want to bed in the players that we've got because we are making a big change to the squad having Goslin and Moon Bagner leave. He just asked there about Coelho Pereira. I said there that he's going to prove that he's the man, right man for the job because he is a, a much more promising uh, free agency signing. Let me know in the comments what you think, obviously, of the three signings that we did make and our pre-season preparations. As you can see, a surprise inclusion for Declan King on the wing. And as you can see, Spasov drops to the bench. Um, so, a bit of a surprise for him because he played really well in pre-season. But we have to nurture these players. We have to bring them through slowly. And uh, there is a genuine belief that, by me at least, that Armenicus is capable of playing the cam role. And because King obviously is promising as well, we want to try and give him some games. And I think Ar Armenicus can create centrally through the middle. But against the harder teams, the stronger teams, we probably do have to play this 4-2-3-1. And then if we find that we have to chase the game, we can go to 4-3-3. So, the opening day of the season, here we go at Gig Lane. Hardy comes wide, danger, and Demiroglu does well to cut it out. It's a strong start by the captain as he intercepts it. And we'll be looking in the opening 20 minutes to try and create some chances. It's going to be interesting to see how the players cope without having those two main men. We got 15 assists last year from Goslin and 20 goals from Moon Bagner. So 
So Bosley holds the ball up and draws the free kick. Atkinson, referee says play on. Gorgas goes wide. Declan King, chance here to get a good cross in. And it's not a good cross from the youngster this time. Armenica swings it in. Maxwell fists it clear. Yaboa, is he going to go wide? Go on, have a dig. Oh, what a finish. Emani Yaboa pretty much starts from where he left off last year. And the Super Ghanaian has struck here. What a strike that is. Take a bow, son. <laughs> Maxwell got it clear and Blackpool didn't push out at all. I was surprised by that. And Yaboa hits it through a crowd of players. That is some strike from the Ghanaian. Off the inside of the post. Come on! There he is. And it could very well be his main year. We're going to need plenty of goals from him. Armenicus. Gorgos. Back to Armenicus. Into Sabozlai. Oh! And they've blocked the chance. It is difficult to break them down with them playing five men behind at the back. Malinov. He's going to go wide. Time running out for Blackpool at the end of this first half. Crossed in, but Demiroglu's there again. I'm happy with that first half as we go to half time. And uh, it really does look like Blackpool are content to play on the counter attack. Just need to try and get that second goal. Virtue. Madine. Into Virtue. A great chance for Matty Virtue. And it's a really good save from Fabiani. Time running out now. King holds on to the ball. Looks like we can see this out for a 1-0 win. Maybe we can get a second. Really kill the game off. We're into stoppage time. Fitzpatrick can't get the shot away. Yeboah delivers to the back post. Now can we get the shot away? Oh, Maxwell dives bravely to stop Fitzpatrick. And they'll clear it away. And that is full time. We do come away with a 1-0 win. Starting with three points. And uh, we knew it would be a tight game as these contests usually are between ourselves and Blackpool. Never usually uh, a landslide for either team. And Emmanuel Yaboa will take the plaudits here. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys, of today's win. And uh, obviously let me know whether you think anything could be changed early on. But I think that's a positive start for us and something to build on. Let's see what they say in the after match press conference just a moment of your time why didn't Andrew get a chance to make his debut really they're focused on that I already said he wasn't going to play so I'll put he needs time to adjust I feel like that question should be asked if you agree to maybe start him as a sub. And then they ask the same question for Coelho Pereira. So I think I'll just put um, good things come to those who wait for this guy. Yeah, he's going to give the fans something to cheer about, I promise you that. Coming out of pre-season, we had high hopes that Spasov would be a regular in the team. His performance today was a letdown. Well, he only had like 15 minutes to play, so... Today was about learning. We're going to bed him in. There's no reason to rush this project. It's something that we want to see build strongly. I'm happy with that opening day win. And you guys can let me know in the comments what you think of the win. And we move on now to the next game against QPR. We move on to the second game. We're at Loftus Road to take on QPR. As you can see... Lotori gets a start in the cam position. Armenicus goes out wide to the right. And we'll be hoping to at least try and get a point here. Obviously anything more than that would be fantastic. Six points from a possible six. But this team relegated from the championship so it is not going to be easy. And you've got to say the opening calendar hasn't been too kind to us. We're playing pretty much three teams that... We we're going to always have a tough game against. We've got Cardiff coming up in the Carabao. Won the ball there. It's Kane on the right. Across from Thiago. The referee says he doesn't win the ball. That's a free kick. It seemed harsh. 
see if we can get the uh, players here to mark up. Got uh, equal men in the box. It comes in. Oh, and it's gone in. I see what happened here. Poor marking. And it's... Uh, oh, he hooked the shot. Oh, God, Fabiani. Come on. He should be tipping that away. You've saved harder shots. What are you doing trying to one-hand it there? Come on. Got to say, poor marking on that first goal. And the goalie probably should have had that. Shadipo. Low cross. And it's two. 25 minutes in. Paul Smith has scored again. It's his brace. Oh, what are the defenders doing? Two of yous there and not one of yous picking him up. I'm going to say that's really disappointing. Into Zaboslai. Zaboslai looking for runners. He does really well to hold off his man, showing his strength. Takes a dip. Oh, it's a good effort. And he knows he was close. So Bosley, Tiago, Tiago trying to find the runner inside. Here's Latore. He's oh, he's won the ball back. Oh, and he's giving it away to Sir Bosley. A great chance and a goal. Right on the stroke of half time. Matthias Sabozlai scores his first goal of the season. Really poor pass from Barbet in defence. And it's a great finish as Sabozlai says, look at me. You'll see here. I'm not sure what he was doing. It was a blind pass. And we've seen two mistakes here that have led to two goals. He gets it out of his feet really quickly and slams it into the corner. I'd be happy that he scored within the first few games because lots of pressure on him to score this year. And we go in at half-time, 2-1 down. I'm really disappointed with the marking and we've got to improve defensively. Hopefully we can mount something in the second half. Here's Neris, cross block, Neris again, cross again, Latore. Oh, and it's blocked by Leisner. And they get it away. Into Spasov, and they're going to run out of time. We go down 2-1 at Loftus Road. It was going to be a difficult game, but I'm really disappointed with that marking. Really disappointed, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments about the defensive performance. This just in, the deal's been complete, and Forrest Moon Bagner joins Rangers, and the fee is 3.2 million, a huge transfer for us. And uh, we say goodbye to Faris. Thank you for his goals in the first season. So it's the final game of the episode. And we play Cardiff in the Carabao Cup. As you can see, mostly wholesale changes in this game. We're not expected to win. But if we can put up a good, strong performance. And just basically avoid getting smashed. I think the plan here is just to see what some of these uh, fringe players can do. As you can see, Fabiani retains his place in goal, as does Latore, but the rest of them are all rotation players. Ennis, Smith, Hilton, Gastrell and Tillmanson at the back, and then McDonald and Crook side in midfield. Paulson and King on the wings, and we're going to try Fitzpatrick up top. Hopefully he can uh, use his strength. Here comes Murphy. Low cross cut out by Smith Hilton. Crook side. Ooh, now that's a poor pass. Rolls into Mendes Lang. Oh, and it's a good save from Fabiani. Really good save. Cox into Rolls. And here's Bowen. Bowen. There's Mendes Lang. Crosses in, and Patterson gets the head to the ball. And Cardiff have the lead inside 20 minutes. Tillmanson couldn't stop the cross. And when it comes in here, uh, Patterson reacts first and gets a glancing header. It's a great piece of forward instinct to be at the six-yard box. Here's Patterson on the turn. Gastrol, that's better from the centre-back. Crookside, now Berry can break. Here's Latore. He's going to lift that over. 
Some danger here. Paulson. He could be through and goal. Oh, he's brought down. Referee. Not even going to book him. King with a free kick. That's a catching practice for Etheridge in goal. Into Crookside. Now, can he find a pass? Is he going to go wide? He goes to Latore. Latore into Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick brought down by Morrison. That's a free kick. And hopefully Declan King can go a little bit closer with this one. Just a few moments before half time. The youngster yet to make a full impact yet on this Berry team. It's King. Oh, that was close. And he knows it was close. It was a little bit closer and a little bit better effort than last time. It was dipping. Oh, just a bit too much purchase on it. And Dante knows that was close. Here's Bowen. Cross to the back post and Fabiani gets his hands to it. Good interception that. Mendes Lang was lurking at the back post and we're going to go in. 1-0 down. We've had a couple of chances and you know what? We're actually still in this. Here's Mendes Lang. Low cross. Crook side intercepts. McDonald to Latore. There's the pass. That's great vision from Latore. Declan King brings it down. A great chance for the youngster. Yes. And Declan King scores. It's 1-1. Lovely vision from Latore. And Declan King. Cool as you like. Slots that into the far corner. Etheridge tried to make himself look big. But it was an accomplished finish by the youngster. Cunningham. And go wide here. Crossed in. Oh, and Patterson's there. He scored another. Callum Patterson just won't be stopped today. And Berry will do all their good work at the start of this second half. And Gastrol's not been able to mark him properly at all. This time Fabiani comes out for it but doesn't get there first. Fitzpatrick, shot blocked, sits up nicely, oh, I thought he'd scored, he banged one in pre-season and look at the connection he makes on this, how close is that, oh, it's going to be a sub, Gastrol and Crookside both off and we're going to see the new lads, Anjurin and Coelho Pereira come on, here's Patterson, he's allowed to turn, well in by Coelho Pereira. Always good to have a nice positive start. Euler crosses in. Oh, and Bowen. Oh, and it was a half volley that gave Fabiani problems. Euler from the right. Crosses it in. Cleared by Ennis. Nodded down, but still not cleared. Here's Cox. Turns back into Rawls. Back to Cox again. And Coelho Pereira with a really good interception. Acrobatically done. That's a foul on Latore. Oh, it's gone wide there. Glattel. And here's Murphy. Could be in trouble here. Oh, <laughs> and Smith Hilton says, where are you going, son? He wasn't going to let him pass if he had to foul him. And he takes the yellow. It's a 2-1 loss for Bury in the Carabao Cup. Expected, but some positives to take from that, despite the defeat. Alright guys, that's it for episode 21. Join me on Monday, when we'll be taking on Barnsley, Rochdale, Doncaster and Coventry in EFL League 1 action, as well as rounding up the transfer window. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. This is our lad signing off.